Okay, this is uh, Table of Contents, page 2. We left off here with the Christmas lights. This here is Herb Monster. I had a little basal cell cancer less than a sixteenth inch in diameter. So they made a big hole in my nose and so they had to fix it with with uh, with a big old thing you'll see in Herb Monster. It's kind of a play on words because of basil. You know, that's like a basil herb. And this here is the monster herb monster monster revealed just uh shows what they did to me and then uh let me go over here to consider the crows that's kind of like uh, all of the people that have been coming into our country from all over the world not necessarily just down south but all over the world so that's uh the crows are a symbol of the uh people coming into the world and this here is is my vision of the wall you know trump wants to build the wall and this is the vision i have or the imagination or whatever this is when i thought of the wall i mean that is, that's my version of the wall and tied up that's real neat that's uh i don't think much people have uh, considered it but uh, I think that God has, that's a, that's kind of like taking Trump and putting him back in the Old Testament and making him like Moses, that kind of a thing. Uh, but God had the Pharaoh tied up, and I think the, uh, the, all this hatred towards Trump is because God has them tied up to where they can't do anything but hate him. Communication. That's from a vision I had reading the Bible. So that's uh, part one. And and part two of it. And then this is a really, a, I like this one a lot. You're unique. I suggest you, if you're way up the ladder, come back down to this one. You know, come back down to all of these. This is about how unique you are. Takes three, takes three channels. Went down three roads from Adam and Eve to you by way of three roads. Your protection, guiding people, and the timing. So it just, it blows your mind out of the millions of, of uh, odds it took for you to be who you are. And this here is I remember the womb. I, I I actually remember being in the womb. Check that out. And this is a thing on Palm Sunday, kind of like you know what Jesus was was gonna face coming the next Friday, and uh, just kind of how would you do if you were gonna you know go through all the things? He, that's, so that's kind of like a a goodie on that and. Um, you know, we'll never know all that Jesus went through for us. We, we won't know the price he paid, you know. The biggie being separated from the Father for, for a time. And this is, uh, we die, die our eggs a couple of days before Christmas every year. And so this is just us getting together to die the eggs. And this is Easter, the girls. This is their, Tanya's original Easter basket. I don't know if you can tell but the handle only goes you know here's the handle goes from here to here it's only like three inches long over here and no inches long over there that's her original Easter basket from when she was a kid and here is the uh, Easter egg hunt we we hide uh, three 18 packs and then the first and then when they divide up in teams, and the first team that comes in with an 18-pack, they, they're the winners. You know, we do this every year. <clears throat> Sorry about the clutter of my backyard, but when I go back and see the ones from years and years ago, everything was really, really pretty. This is uh, just about my weeping tea mulberry kind of stream. And this is uh, 
how I catch the mulberries, mulberry catcher. And this here was just, if you remember the one about the voice, I was doing an avocado, and the vo a voice told me, do it this way. That's uh, a real neat way to, to, do a, to do your avocado for guacamole. And I don't know how I got on this cooking thing, but then uh, this is how, we, how I prepare strawberries. And this is a story about toilet paper. It's, <laughs> it's kind of funny. My sister Doris got a letter in the form of a roll of toilet paper. And so I did the same thing with another thing. And this is showing how I, how I like to make beef jerky. And I smoke some rock Cornish game hens. And then I got off the cooking thing and getting back to the stories. This is when you, if you read the autobiography, Nothing Nobody, and uh, uh, Cold Day in Hell, and How I Love to Play. And so this is going back to uh, the house on 35th Street. And then uh, this is how I'm freezing the mulberries. And uh, this is, uh, you know, the house on 35th. And, and then this one's the house I live in today. And this is a. Uh, a segment of my daughter she's right there my grandson Jim or my son-in-law Jim's there and the drummer but you can't see him back there and the bass player there of the blues kid a very good singer she is so that's a nice little two two minute thing, song you'll you'll like that they're a jazz thing and then I went back to uh, back to the uh, Trying to tell the stories of 1942, trying to get up to where we moved to Lamina Village in 1954. And as you can see, we're only going 42, and 44, and 45, and and then, of course, part one, page one of the table of contents. Now this is this is uh, page two of the table of contents. And before I get back to early 1945s during the war. I might do the thing on the um, on the rainbow first, because that was really, really something. So that's it for now. Thank you.